so the next thing I need to do is I guess talk to the patriarch about his son let's go do that quickly next one I will do is probably this coded transmissions mission let's go talk to the patriarch see when he wants a son all right that worked no no Kodiak's like him still Let's go for a ride, Moynestar. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be... <clears throat> Let's go to Patriarch's little palace and... talk to him. It's here. Many people Vic murdered. Ah, the park. What? Well, welcome back. Nice to see you, Rangers. Here we are. <clears throat> this statue looks like a much younger version of the patriarch. Forcer, let's go upstairs to his little throne room made out of missiles. It's pretty cool, actually. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Yes, we're ready to make a report. Tell me. Dealt with your son, Victory. Dealt with? How? He captured him. Good. He's done enough damage as it is. He was my heir, if you can believe it, until I realized he was never going to grow out of hurting people. <laughs> Exiling him was the best of two bad options. The families wanted his head. Still... He shrugs. Anyway, I promised you a reward. Here it is. Now, what else? Um, uh, I have some questions for you. Talk, then. I honestly don't think any of this concerns me. And actually, I don't know where I learned this information. We've learned that the trembling of your hands is the shaking palsy. I honestly don't care that he has a secret prison, to be honest. I'd be more surprised if he didn't being any sort of ruler. But you're considered expanding your borders i guess this is an interesting question the nation as you see it is my life's work only fools expand beyond their ability to govern see he seems very intelligent to be honest with you. that's true let's back up fine tell me Your daughter Liberty accosted us right in the middle of your territory. And you're not dead. She must have been feeling merciful. What did she say? She showed us a bag of heads and told us to tell you to hire a better class of spies. <laughs> yeah. I have. The one she hasn't caught. <laughs> Anything else? Is 
Liberty is holding Percival Wesson hostage. He's alive then. Good. Save him if you can. He's been a good ally and friend to me. Anything else? And that's when we found a map leading to the grave of your wives. What of it? Well, just saying, you've had a lot of wives. That was a lesson too long in the learning. But I think I finally got it through my head. I won't remarry. I'm glad, because they seem not to last with you. Of course, there's one woman who loves Colorado like I do. But she turned me down years ago. Ooh. None of your damn business. Are we done here? <laughs> I guess so, Patriarch. That's all? Just a minute. I have a private facility where I keep politically sensitive prisoners. It was raided recently. Know anything about that? One of my highest valued prisoners is missing, and I'd like to know what happened to him. Well, I honestly don't think it's any of his concern. He obviously already knows. I'm just going to deny it. Mm. We don't know anything about that. I see. I hope I don't find out otherwise, Rangers. I don't like being lied to. Well, honestly, I don't think I do either. So we're even, Patriarch. Let's take a little look at the journal. Just have to go for Trader now. Daddy's little secret. Okay, what I need to do is I need to go to the Hoon residence, don't I? Meet Angela Death at the Hoon homestead. Let's go. Good as time as any. Wait, wait, where are you going? Go here. The Patriarch likes it quiet in here. So do we. Well, let's head back to Morning Star. So, yeah, let's go talk to Angela Death, see what information she has about Liberty Buchanan. News kids in at all. He knows everything. We do like roughing people up. You can calm down a second. I was talking to diligent Joe the other day. Oh, no, everyone, don't fall behind. Looking on healing supplies, actually. I know we're good on ammo. I guess we're good on healing supplies for now. Let's head out.
Colonel Death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here. And you haven't brought along any unexpected guests. Can't be too careful these days, right? That's not important. Just make sure you're ready to meet Colonel Death. Hmm. Looks like you're missing a few folks. Before I call Angie, come back when everybody's with you. Ah, you're all here now. Great. I'll let Angie know. All clear. Come ahead. <clears throat> hey now, cowboys. Face to face at last. And just as handsome as I thought you'd be. Remember when you chose to follow the Patriarch's orders instead of saving those folks Erastus threatened to slaughter? I figured we'd meet here so you could see what was left of them. I know Woodson told you to do Buchanan's bidding, but to my mind, it ain't the Ranger way to help the powerful ahead of the helpless. Because things like this happen. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. Nice to meet you at last. What do you want to tell us? Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now, what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked, I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, Two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. And second... Shit! Scar collectors. Well, well. Speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue. Of course we will. Holy oh, shit, there's so many! Wow, she's level 37. Holy shit! Taking she's, the high ground! He's strong. Got your back, Angie! Okay, so oh look, there's a little room to skirmish if I would need to. Let's see, let us get Ghost doing her thing first. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. Hit the Cyclops in the head. And you can move back and prepare. Professor. Oh, I forgot to remove... What's his face? His armor. Marshall's armor. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh well. Just run back a bit. Oh, 
Marshall, you just trying to get up there. Get in ambush stance. What I should do is bust his cover, no? That's... Bye bye cover! Shotguns are pretty good, actually. Let's just shoot this guy. Get up there. Try to finish him off. And you can prepare. Gotcha. see up here. Wolf, that scared me for a second. I thought I'm gonna have to attack it. Can I reduce it? No. decoy. And set up your ambush at that window. You can do the same thing, Marshall. Ghost. Can I just shoot from here? No, of course not. Okay, for next turn. Lies on target. Yeah, I'm gonna screw you, Professor, sorry. Woo! Laser focus! Let's finish this! <laughs> Oh, 
Should have already went all the way over there. Damn. She works fast. Already yeah, over here, and she's she's already in the front line, shooting down from the flank. Gotta respect that woman. Shoot. Shoot in the head. I swear sometimes my gun shoots regular bullets. It's weird. Marshall. Shoot him in his little head. Ghost has an extremely low chance to hit them. Let us go for a chest shot. Guess. We'll miss the second one, of course. Come on. Oh, it was seven. I thought it was 70. Okay, I see what missed. Why it missed, at least. You will know suffering! Kill Marshal Kwan. My sights are on you. Holy shit! With the fascists. We are the Rangers. Uh. That guy is crazy good. Everyone's dead close by. Let's heal him then. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Who wants to move up? Lucia? Are you the volunteer? Oh, there's a guy here. Perfect. Shoot his head. You will suffer the same fate! We can just pull back. Let Angela's people deal with it. All must know pain. The marshals. <laughs> we did it. Good job. As my friends and I see it, 
Two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Second, and you're gonna love this, the patriarchs gotta go too. Well, this isn't true. Like, I nothing, nothing says it would fall into anarchy. Definitely, Colorado Springs is a safe haven, but everything outside of it is a shithole. I guess this is too. We know the patriarch is no angel by any means. And he had to make the hard choices he had to make to keep them safe. But honestly, I think our duty to the Rangers tops everything. We have the direct orders. Our orders were to help the Patriarch, so he helps Arizona. Killing him kills the folks back home. How can you ask that? I love the people of Arizona. Arizona is my home. But are you willing to save lives there at the expense of lives here? Are you okay sending home food spattered with innocent blood? The Rangers have fought tyranny since the beginning, without compromise. How can we continue to do that if we take handouts from a tyrant? How can we pretend we're heroes if we do his dirty work to get it? Sorry, I had this argument with General Woodson a hundred times. A sure deal was more important to him than a moral one. That's why the advance team went dark and decided to do this on our own. Of course, it turned out we couldn't do it on our own, which is why we were so happy when you showed up. And why we're here now, asking you for help. Part of me really wants to ask what they need. But no matter what they need, I'm not going to help them. Not interested, sorry. Fair enough. But me and mine are between you and the door, so hear me out anyway. Right. First off, there's Liberty. Was that a threat? Is she saying she's going to kill us if I don't side with them? I don't think I like her. I've got to hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. When she does, well... <sighs> well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice and their houses and towns burn to the ground. None of us want that, right? Oh, I don't mind about that, so long as you change your mind about them after. So? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure what to do. Like, on one hand, I have my orders, but the other hand, I definitely don't want that to happen to Colorado. 
I don't want to say we don't give a shit about color, so I'm just going to go with this one. Although I may go regret it. Right, we don't want Colorado twin like that. Glad to hear it. So here's the plan. Originally, we hoped you'd help Cordite take control of the gangs again, so he could lead them all off to Kansas and his blood-soaked destiny. But since you dumb sons of bitches couldn't keep the man around, that's not on the table. I'm guessing our plan B is a lot like the Patriarch's plan A, with one minor difference. Daddy'll want you to go to Liberty's camp, get her warlords to kill each other, then bring her home for a stern talking to. We want all that too, except the part about bringing Liberty home. As far as we're concerned, you can put a little dirt over her and leave her there. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Why do you want us to do all this? Why aren't you doing it yourself? Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spies watching Liberty's compound. If you show up, those spies will think you're there on Daddy's behalf, and they'll be happy to see you. If we show up, our plan is revealed, yeah? And that would give the Marshals a chance to button up Colorado Springs before we make our attack. They'd be waiting for us. Where are these people with you? Pete and Brother Thomas came back with me from L.A. and Tax from Arizona. These others are locals who have various gripes against the Patriarch. We trained them up as best we could. Nicer bunch of folks you'll never find. What's your plan for the Patriarch? <sighs> now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty... My team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him down. Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. I'm not sure I have an answer for them, to be honest. Maybe not sure. I honestly don't think Angela Death knows any better than the Patriarch what is needed. Okay, but I think I've got an answer for you. All right, then. What's it going to be? Yeah, thanks for the info, but we're still siding with the Patriarch like the Ranger Command told us to. Fine. The Patriarch already wants you to bring in Liberty, so here's her location. All I ask is, when you're finally standing face to face with her, please at least consider dealing with her our way and put a bullet between her eyes. Everything else we talked about? Well, let your conscience be your guide. Good luck, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. For a second there, I thought she was going to try to kill us if we said no.